So your challenge when you grow up is to find a way to get into a black hole and see the singularity. That's the easy part. <laughs> then get out of the black hole and tell us about it. That's the hard part. Oops, sorry. Uh, hi there. Um, physics major again, but a very silly question. If we can sense the dark matter in our usual matter world, why can't we just throw something there and see if it comes back? I mean, we have like antiparticle and particle, like theoretically is it possible to let them annihilate, annihilate, then wait for a while and see if they come together, well, um, come from nothing. And if there is some difference, like just theoretically. I know it's a silly question, but still it's interesting. No, no, no. It's, uh, it, it's something that you might imagine, but the most efficient way of uh, looking for wimps that are annihilating is that wimps that are around today in a concentrated place, like the galactic center, can be annihilating today. J Jim, that, there was a question here? Uh, well, oh, sorry. Yes, sir. A microphone is coming. If the dark matter interacts with the regular matter, would the dark energy interact with the regular energy? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We don't understand. We understand even less about dark energy than we do about dark matter. So the simplest view of dark matter is that completely empty space, for some reason, weighs something. Uh, Dr. Cobb, did the, no, recent we're, discovery, we're, we're, okay, thank you. did the recent discovery of gravitational waves add to any knowledge we have of dark matter or dark energy, or did it even interact Yes. Do we know or anything yes. like so, that? So uh, recently, uh, in the past couple of years, gravitational waves have been discovered from um, violent things that happened billions of years ago, black holes in spiraling, or neutron stars colliding, producing gravitational waves that traveled for billions of years across the universe and bumped into Louisiana. And uh, they were detected there. And it has had an impact on both dark matter and dark energy. Uh, the fact that we have seen gravitational waves that behave exactly like Einstein predicted in his theory have ruled out some models that try to account for dark energy by saying, well, Einstein's theory is not complete. It's, uh, the, it's called modified gravity is the name of it. And uh, the, the observation of gravitational waves have ruled out many of those possibilities. And for dark matter, uh, again, the idea that these, th there might be so many lo really large black holes in, uh, in the universe today that that could be the dark matter. So it's opened up a new, new possibilities. Okay. okay, so. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. And um, I don't have to rush home to see the Cubs game tonight. <laughs>